welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I just want to say thank you so much. I have hit, I think I'm almost 800 subscribers or 750 subscribers. That is so much for me. And I remember it seems like just yesterday when I hit 50 subscribers. So thank you all so much. You are all so amazing and I love you all. And you always leave amazing, gorgeous comments that just make me want to keep going and, and doing this and make me want to upload videos regularly. So thank you to you. You are all my inspiration and motivation. I sound like I'm giving, doing a speech like I've just won an Academy Award and I've only just got 700 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Oh, I'm pathetic. Anyway, so this is the makeup I've done for work. Um, it's a simple sort of a makeup, but it does involve a lot of products. So it's not the sort of makeup that you would wear if you had to rush out of the door. So you do need to allow a fair bit of time for this. So yes, if you would like to learn how I do my makeup um, in the mornings for work, just keep watching. All right, so to start off my uh, base, I like to give myself a really moisturizing, uh, really deeply moisturizing moisturizer because I find throughout the day, more towards the end of the day, my skin gets really, really dry and flaky, especially around my nose. My nose gets quite flaky and near my chin and everything. So um, I find that I have to use a really thick moisturizer. Like I have oily T-zone a little bit, but mostly dry skin. So I use my normal moisturizer, which is the uh, Nivea Day Cream. Uh, it's a really nice one. This one's really thick, so I wouldn't recommend it for oily skin types. And also combine that with my Autopilot Pre-Foundation Skin Primer by Napoleon. Mix those two together. And that creates like a super smooth base too for the, for the foundation. So for my foundation in this look, I'm actually using uh, a different, not a different foundation, but I usually use the Napoleon Purtis China Doll in look number four. But this time I'm using Sheer Genius Liquid Foundation in look number three. It's a little tester that I got from Napoleon. I've never tried this. Um, it's actually SPF 20, so it's a little bit shiny, so I wouldn't recommend it for um, if you were having photos done for something or anything, but I'm not too fussed about that at work. So I'm going to squirt a little bit of that on my fingers and rub it all over my face like I normally do. Moving on to concealer, I'm using my normal Superstay 24 hour concealer by Maybelline. And I'm going to rub that in with my index finger. Index finger? No, rude finger. Uh, rude finger. I wonder if that's what Americans call it, the, the naughty one. I wonder if that's called the rude finger in America. Tell me, Americans, tell me if that is called the rude finger. I would like to know. So as far as powder goes, I don't powder massively during the day. As I said at the start, my, my skin does get pretty oily, so I just use a little bit. So I'm using the Napoleon Purtis, the usual powder foundation in look number four to suit that uh, those foundations that I used. And my Sigma, whoops, Sigma Large Powder F20 brush. It's an amazing brush, this one. I love it. I am in love with this brush. Everybody should get it if you don't already own it. For bronzer, I'm using my Mosaic Bronzing Powder by Napoleon. And also, I'm using an old blush brush because I can't find my bronzing brush, so that'll have to do. So now I'm up to doing my eyebrows, so I'm going to really speed through this as I do in all my videos pretty much because I do have a brow tutorial and the video goes for about 20 minutes if I include this in the full video, so I'm going to speed through this right now. Now I do apologise if the lighting in the room or the video is actually changing because I got home from work today so it's a little bit, um, it's going dark quickly so I'm sorry if the light's constantly changing. Oh I just noticed, it's like going like yellow and then kind of look blue now. Anyway, never mind. So first of all, I'm just going to highlight my brow bone using the uh, Foxy, sorry, the Booty Call colour out of the Naked 2 palette. So this sort of slight, light, shimmery colour and just any old paddle brush. So now I'm going to move on to the eyes. So whenever I'm at work, um, there's a certain type of makeup that I always, that I mostly do. Um, and it's a thing that is really great for people who have my sort of eyes. So 
I have sort of um, hooded eyes or small eyes, so my actual, just the whole of my eye is quite small and then I have a lot of area and skin up above my, just on my brow bone and everything, so to actually make my eyes appear bigger and fuller and just sort of more doe-eyed instead of just small little beady thingos, the best thing you can do for your eyes, if you have small eyes, to make them look bigger is literally just colouring this uh, this little, little bit lighter coloured. You do not want to do this in dark colours. If you darken this shadow, I mean you can do it, it does look nice if you do it with certain ways, but my preference or my idea of what would be best for that um, is yeah, to, to lighten that bit up. So that's actually called the mobile lid, so obviously it's the one that blinks, it's the one that moves when you blink. Um, so. That's what I do. I'm going to put a lighter colour on that and that just really does make your eyes look so much bigger, um, makes my eyes look so much bigger and yeah. So I've just used that exactly the same beauty call colour and I'm going to put that on the mobile lid. Might zoom you in a bit actually. I'm going to move on to the crease. So obviously the crease is the part above the mobile lid um, where your eye is creasing, as you can see. It's pretty self-explanatory, that one. <laughs> so I'm going to be using, out of my MAC palette, this one right here, which I never remember the name. I'll write it in the description bar, I promise. Sorry about that. I always forget it. And I'm using my E25 Blending Brush by Sigma. Small little um, blending brush, which is amazing. So I'm going to grab a little bit of that on there and I'm just going to start working that in the crease. Need to take off my bangle. The brush that I'm going to use to sort of blend that colour out a bit more is the E35 Sigma brush, a little bit bigger blending brush, just to bring that up a little bit more into the brow bone. So next I'm moving on to, um, to make it a little bit darker, I'm using my Napoleon Purtis Colour Disc in a Copper Topper by Napoleon, favourite of mine. This is a gorgeous colour that looks amazing on blue eyes and, and brown eyes. It's just very ref uh, pigmented and just a stunning colour, so I think everybody should actually own that. It's a good one. So I'm picking that up on my small tapered E45 blending brush by Sigma. Little black little definer. It's a good one, this one. And I'm just going to put that in the crease as well, just to darken up that crease, create a little bit more depth in my socket. Now the last thing I'm going to do to darken that crease is use the busted colour from the Naked 2 palette which is the purple just there. I'm going to point to it with this other palette. The second one there just, just there. So this is an awesome colour that I reckon you can put with any other shade really. It's purple but it's a really dark one and it literally just adds more dimension to your eyes. Just darkens it a lot more. So the lighting has really changed since I started because it's pretty much dark outside now so all I've got is the lighting that I'm using in the actual room so sorry if it's gone all crappy. I'm <laughs> sorry. Next for my eyeliner I'm using my usual Napoleon Eye Studio, uh, Napoleon, that's just an automatic thing for me to do, <laughs> Maybelline Eye Studio little paint pot thingo and my art store brush <laughs> and I'm just going to line my um, eyes with this, just a really light line, small line, fine line I mean. And I'm just creating a small wing too.
So that's the eyeliner finished. Now I'm just going to literally put a coat of mascara on and I'm using my Colossal Lashes by Maybelline. I've used it that much. I think there's only a tiny little scraping of the actual writing left on it. Red! Awesome, so that's the lashes done. Now, I don't actually put eye, um, mascara on my lower lashes for work. I just feel like it makes me look like a little bit more like I'm trying to be a bit more dolled up. Whereas on the upper lash line, it just sort of, it's still a bit sweet looking. And it, yeah, it sort of makes this area look a lot more clearer and just sort of cleaner and sharper. So I'll zoom you out now. That's pretty much it. I'm just going to do my lips and for my lips I use for my lips I use my lip liner by Napoleon which is called Pinot Noir it is a stunning color this one it's like a peachy pinky color um, and I've used a lot of it clearly so I need to go buy myself another one <laughs> So I'm pretty sure that is the end of the makeup and um, as I said at the start, actually I didn't even say this at the start, what am I talking about? Um, this makeup is, it's not the sort of makeup that you should go and do if you're wanting to have a sort of um, a uh, quick light work makeup. This, is, this it does involve quite a lot of products but you do need a fair bit of time, well I do need a fair bit of time to do this. So I do this in the mornings when I'm when I'm starting at 10 or 9 o'clock or something and I've got plenty of time to sort of relax and do my makeup and make it look really nice. So um, yes, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you found it helpful or interesting. And if you did, it would be awesome if you could like the video or subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more videos from me. That would be great. Um, so yeah, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching and I love you all and I will see you soon. Bye.